talk about today, I didn't want to sugarcoat anything and, and say something like, uh, today is only about a celebration or the time magically heals all wounds because, because it doesn't. Uh, but I know a God who can. The main reason I'm a huge fan of this girl named Angelina is because of a phrase that kept popping up in the stories that comprised her life. And that phrase is this, despite all odds, Angelina said I could do that. Despite all odds, Angelina said I could do that. We can go back to the very beginning as two anxious parents sat in front of a doctor and he shook his head and said, I'm sorry. This pregnancy is not viable. You'd be wise to terminate because this baby is not going to live. But despite all odds, Angelina said I could do that. And we fast forward to her birth and she was born with insurmountable challenges, holes in her heart and her spine, countless surgeries on the horizon. And doctors again shook their heads and said, I'm sorry. We're going to do our best. But this little girl is not going to make it but a few weeks. But despite all odds, Angelina said I could do that. Insurmountable challenges, like I said. If you know anything about trisomy 18, you know that the average child lives a few weeks. And the medical community uh, all agrees that you're lucky if you live a few months. But it's nothing more than a pipe dream if you think your child is going to live longer than a year. But despite all odds, Angelina said I could do that. And even as her body lay fully broken down and, and, and uh, on its last few moments, doctors again shook their heads and said, she has but a few hours to live. And Billy knelt down and spoke with his daughter and said, baby, baby, just hold on a few more days. Gigi and Papa are coming. And despite all odds, Angelina said, I can do that. And Gigi and Papa made it. And they got to sing to their precious daughter, our granddaughter, one more time. And uh, she wasn't able to communicate, obviously. She was kept uh, alive by modern medicine and the grace of God. But in her own secret kind of way, she showed them that, hey, I, I can hear you. And her numbers improved as Gigi and Papa sang to her. Now, if you've ever heard uh, my mother and father-in-law sing, you know that's a miracle. <laughs> Tuesday morning, God himself reached down and said, baby, come on home. And she said, yeah, I can do that. And in a moment, the miracle that was Angelina became the miracle that forever will be. And that's powerful to me. Daddy, if you could see your girl now. The little girl that would never walk now runs on streets of gold. And that little girl that would never talk now sings with a chorus of angels. And those precious lungs that fought for every breath and breathed the last on Tuesday, those same lungs are now filled with the very breath of God. Let that sink in, brother. They're filled with the breath of God. Uh -oh. I don't mourn Angelina. I, I grieve for a world that has to go on without her. Uh, <coughs> but don't you dare. Don't you dare live a life like you're not going to see this girl again, because you will. Live a life that ensures that you do. And when life overwhelms, and when life overshadows all hopes and all odds, you smile like this little girl, girl would have and say, I can do that, because you can. We're here to love you all along the way, okay? Angelina was born with trisomy 18. The doctor said she would live past one year old. Angelina, the family loved you, and strangers fell in love with you too. She was still everywhere in the heart. Angelina fought through thick and thin. Why did she have to leave? The day you left us was the saddest day ever. We all loved you, and now God said, Oh, Angelina, why did you stop guarding us down here? 
Grace, peace, and mercy be unto us from God, our Father, our living Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit, who guides us every day that we live. Amen. Welcome today. One of the words that first came to my mind when I first heard the news was bittersweet. It may not have been the first word that came to your mind, but I guarantee you it was the feelings that welled up inside of you. Bittersweet. You see, it's bitter because she was taken from us. It's bitter because we will miss her. It's bitter because we don't know what else to do. I remember the first time I laid eyes on her. I was up at the seminary in St. Catharines, Ontario, and I got the phone call that she was to be born. And it's usually a nine-hour trip. Well, God was watching over me that day. So I made it a lot quicker than that. But God was with her. And when I first laid the eyes on her, she was laying upon her stomach. She had tubes and gadgets and everything else you could think of. I heard the steady beeps and of the different machines that were around. She had bandages covering parts of her body, especially on her back. I didn't know what to do. I was a seminary student. This is what they're supposed to teach us. And I had no idea what to say, what to do, but just simply to stare and say, God, why? Why did you let her be born this way? Every once in a while, I'd be able to, I was given the opportunity to come and visit Billy and Paul and the girls. And I don't have kids of my own, so holding any child is a bit difficult for me. I usually hold them like this. <laughs> and when it came to Angelina, I, I often didn't know what to do. So Billy would have to put her into my arms, and I just sat there and watched. I felt her breathing upon my chest. But most importantly, I remember seeing her smile. Despite the, 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 the nasal cannulas, the, the oxygen that she had, despite the machines that would periodically start beeping, all I could see was that smile. And last night when I went to bed last night, all I could see was that smile once again. It's bitter. And many of us feel that way. Why in the world was she born this way? Why in the world was she taken from us? Almost five years, and it seemed so short. And yet, the other part of that word, bittersweet, is sweet. And oh my, is it so sweet. She was baptized in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And in baptism, we are promised forgiveness of sins. We are promised that we are made the children of God. She was never alone. God was always with her. And although we may still question why this happened, I guarantee you one of the reasons why I believe she was born this way is because she opened up Everybody's eyes here, even a lowly seminary student who thought he knew everything. He looked at her and he saw the miracle of God standing or sitting right in front of my eyes. And it made me look at the world in a whole new way. Instead of thinking, God, why didn't you let this happen or this happen? I started thinking, 
God, thank you for letting this happen and this happen. Thank you so much for the life that you've given to me. Thank you so much for my siblings, my family. Thank you so much for Angelina. And it's still sweet because you know what? If we look up here and see this coffin, if we look here and see this box and say, this is the end, then I guarantee you that it is bitter. But I guarantee you this. If you know where she's at now, then you know just how sweet it is. I've imagined over the last couple days that the moment that she took her last breath here on earth, she was welcomed by those pearly gates. And she was welcomed not just by the angels and the archangels, but by her grandparents, by her great-grandparents, and all those who have gone before us were standing there at the gates like Angelina. It's so good to see you. They took her into their arms. They walked through those gates. They ran across the streets made of gold. They began to make grass angels in the grass. And all the while, each of the grandparents, the relatives who have died before, were taking turns holding her and saying, you're home now. And then before the day was out, they brought her to the throne room of God. And God looked down at her and took, him, took her into his arms wrapped him, her into his chest and said, Welcome home, my child. It is bittersweet today because we will miss her. And no matter what happens in our lives, we will always remember her. And our love for her will never wane. But it is sweet because we know that through our Savior Jesus Christ, today is not the end. This box is not the end. But one day we will be reunited. And not just for a day, not just for two days, but for all eternity. And I promise you this, that's a very, very long time. My brothers and sisters, today is bittersweet. Bitter for us, but so sweet for Angelina. Amen. May the peace of God which surpasses all human understanding. Jesus loves me. This I To him belong.